Hey guys, welcome to another review. I am Mr. P, uh, and today I'm going to be doing another review of a little RDA that I received from uh, SpainCigar.es. So, what I am doing today is the um, Tobico Stellaire 22mm in black is what I'm doing today. So Stellaire, um been out for quite a while to be honest with you, the client's been out for just as long um, but this is the first time I've come across one so doing a little review of it. Um, so like I say 22mm dual coil only um, RDA, lovely stuff. Bit of information about it first of all, price 13 euro from Spain Cigar which is literally just a fraction over a, a 12 pound um, at today's exchange rate but usually on a good day it would be around about 11 um, so that's what we've got. Like I say, dual core setup, three posts. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I think what I'll do is I'll throw you straight down. We'll get a little close up of it done so you can have a proper look around it and see the quality of the finish and so on. Then come back up to me. We'll have a nice little vape. Right, guys, a quick close up of the Tobiko Stellaire clone. Uh, this one's in black. Um, long overdue, to be honest. I haven't actually done a review of the 22mm Stellaire. Um, so this is me doing that. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, first of all, let's have a little look around the box. So, Tobiko, still their picture, the relevant C markings, black on the top there. Um, that's about the shape of it, to be honest with you. Now it's just the box. So let's open her up. Uh, and inside, let's see what we have. So that's now an empty box. Let's put that over there. Um, we have some silica and some candle, this feels like. I've said this quite a few times in Tobiko. Um, close ups, it does feel like they're putting cancel in there now, not nick chrome, which is good. Oh, let's run off, let's get this back over here. Um, so, let's see what we've got 22mm, 510, non adjusted, slight protruding positive pins, the connection shouldn't be a problem. Um, obviously, stainless steel base, as you can see. Let's get a mod involved in the situation, our rings are a little bit tight. There we go. So, let's have a little look at this properly. So, let's see what we've got. What we have is, uh, we'll start with the top cap. Um, so, top cap, 510 drip tip goes in there. Flat top, kind of chamfered edge, which is quite nice. All the 510s I've tried have fit. Like I say, this is an unboxing, but I take them all out to have a little go and to wash them. Um, so, you know, I've got some paces as to what I'm talking about, basically. Um, into the body, you've got an air path cut there, and then one on the opposite side, you'll be able to tell, because you can see right through, but there we go. Uh, so, dual core and dual core only. Going into here, um, there's a big hunk of metal there. I mean, that is stopping that deep in, so there, basically, is where we were stopping. That, to the top, is metal. Um, so it's fairly weighty this top cap uh, it's not domed it's just flat but you know it's there um, now obviously you've got no single coil option because I mean they could have could have done it quite happily couldn't they just put a hole there um, but they didn't so you've only got dual coil options in this bad boy it's unfortunate um, I really wish they would start including singles in this kind of thing um, now let's go on to the sleeve obviously it's got a correct way to go up obviously cartel and still there um, it is a clone, so you know, but it's there. Um, into the body, you've got a little bit of a, a, a raise in there, so you know where the, the deck has been met. Um, and obviously, your top cap slips into here, like so. And then, you obviously, as you decide, you know, you could have it like that really small airflow, or you go wide open. So, it is an adjustable airflow, which is pretty sweet. Um, this feels like fairly good quality to be honest, you've got serial here 18053 so loads of them um, other than that there's not really a lot going on I'm trying to see what that is under there it's stainless steel under there I'd say but it's strange that looks almost as if it's been painted in to me but it hasn't, if you look really close you can see the bare metal there um, but that is what it is uh, then we're going to the deck, as I said, 510 protruding positive connection, non adjustable. Um, single wire rings, your body fits completely around the outside edge. Uh, you've got a little drip well in there, so you've got a bit of juice capacity going on. Uh, and then it's a simple sort of three post system now, and legitimate one, gold plated. Whether they are or not, I don't know, but they're very blingy. 
um, these centre posts, so it's very possible. Um, obviously, the centre is your um, positive, the outsides are your negatives. Uh, and looking at that one, that's a bit naughty, really. Let's have a. I'm not sure if you can make that out. Yeah, you should be able to. That's okay, that's okay. That one's kind of facing over here somewhere. <laughs> so um, that one's a little bit off centre, and it is the same on that side. You can probably make it out a little bit better there. Um, so negatives are kind of not necessarily square, unfortunately, but you know, it is a clone and it is fairly cheap. Um, let me just grab a Phillips, get the right tool for the job. Um, screws fine, just like that, and then same here. Same here, so all that's all good. And like I say, obviously dual core build only. Um, I mean, you could quad it, I suppose, or do whatever you wanted in there, but you know, it's designed for a dual core build. Um, now, I am going to build this for you, uh, but I'm cheating because I've got a couple of calls that I made off camera just to speed up the process a little bit. So, what I've got here is a couple of micros. Um, these are 0.5 candle or 24 gauge. And I'm just very quickly going to do this because you know I'm, most of you guys will know how to do this by now um, you know and if you don't then you know I'll quite happy to do a build video for you but this just speeds up the entire process of the review um, so one through there and one through there on that side it's a rinse and repeat on this side in fact I think I've angled it up slightly stick the long one through the positive like so there and then I'm having to go out a bit like that to get that one through uh, and then just give that a little push and a jiggle and that will find its way into where it needs to be like that um, now what we're going to do start off by screwing your negative down this is what I always find anyway get a negative down quick as possible um, it just holds the coil in place and now obviously we've got both cores and we can afford to push this one in uh, and do the same on this side so there we go uh, and then it's just a case of making sure your positives are where you want them to be you know this this dual core process it's not super hard and I mean on that is like this it's not hard either um, as well as you know others that are out there but if you're new to it this can be very daunting and I think a lot of us forget that so and I'm, I'm as guilty of this as anyone else is um, so that's what we've got there um, I'm just going to make sure all these are down as tight as I can get them um, purely this 0.5 is going to take it you know it's very very um, very very rare that you're going to be snapping a 0.5 wire um, by over tightening I mean don't get me wrong it can happen and it has but it's a lot rarer um, so that is that now let's lift these wires up, there you go, that one's broken off, lovely um, let's lift these wires up, I'm just going to adjust the coils very briefly okay, just level them off and you know, do what you've got to do to make them as even as possible so level it off, pull it down a little bit uh, and then it's just a simple case of grab that wire and give it a twist and she shall break off I mean, Spain Cigar do do the um, pre-built coils as well so if you didn't want to build a 0.5 you could just buy their pre-built and slot them straight in um, there we go and there we go so that's what we've got I'll just remove my little bars uh, and chuck this on a mod same as the vertex the other day it's going on the fortune just because I love the mod um, <clears throat> and I think to be honest with you the combination of brass and black goes a lot better than I thought it was going to when I first thought about sticking it on so that's why um, then it's just a case of screwing my mod down like so and then we're going to give her a little fire so as you can see we're not lighting evenly at the moment but it shall be about a minute before we are give your coils a little tweeze both sides Okay, we're slightly, slightly slower on this one. Things with jewels, you've got to, you know, this is the problem. You've got to sit there and balance them. Now, don't get me wrong, that wasn't hard, but 
that's more time than I would have had to have spent on a single. Um, bear in mind, guys, that wire holds that heat, so I'm just going to wait a second in order um, to let them cool down, and then I'm going to stick my wicks in. Um, to give it a little blow because um, you don't want to be burning your cotton if that's what you're using. Obviously, if you're not using cotton, then you may not have to worry about that as much. Silica doesn't really burn, so you know if it does, it's not going to be burning at these kind of temperatures. This coils at. Um, so let's just grab that. I've said it before. I've said it before in Spain cigars reviews as well. In fact, give it a little twist as you pull the cotton through uh, and find it about there. It's about perfect, and it's the same on this side. You know, just. Your cotton wick is an easy thing to make. Um, it's literally just a bit of cotton, you know, nothing major. Uh, and then just poke her through, give it a little twist, and we're about there. Um, so now what we're going to do? Grab our skizzers, chop that. I always leave these front ones longer um, because, well, you'll see if you haven't already seen my method. But there we go. And then what I tend to do is grab my small screwdriver, grab the front one, we'll go with this one, and I go under. Let's see if I can do this under like that. Push it down. Some people leave it there, I don't push it through, keep pushing. Then you get to the top, you can see what's happening there. Pull it, pull it through. We want this cotton from here. You want a little bit fluffy at the front, okay? So here you want it a bit fluffy. But you want it to have space under there, which we will have once I've juiced it up, it holds its position more. But you kind of want that, which I find, and then it goes through to the back there. Okay, and then obviously I stick this here, and that joins the, all the wicks together. Uh, and it's the same on this side, like this. Give it a push, give it a push. You know, it all play ball. You know, just give it a little push through. Once you get to that stage there, Put it, you make that out better there, in fact, because that's the back of the wick, all of that there is the front of the other. Um, in fact, I'm apple for a little bit too much. Like I say, you want to leave a bit here, otherwise, you're putting pressure on the coil. Effectively, what you're doing is that, okay, and you're opening up you know, space in between your coil. You want it to be completely fluffed up and all, all in there, um, and then we're going to push. This back down. That whole procedure is a lot easier with juice, but you get juice involved and it's a lot harder to tell what's going on. Today I'm going to chuck some of this kryptonite in there. Um, sweet melon vape situations. And I'm going to give it a little squeeze and just primer up. I find just dollop it on. It finds its way to the cotton. Just make sure you get it on the coil. Everything else will find its way. You know, just front and back. Like so, give it another squeeze, like that, and like that, and just two more for good luck. And that is us, we're ready to go and have a vape really, so we give it a little push, the vapor coming off both sides, so what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly chuck our top cap back together. Wide open, you know, Mr. P rolls, uh, and then line up our, our paths, our paths with our coils. Chuck in our drip tip, and right now we are ready for a vape. So back up to me, guys, for a nice little vape. Right, guys, welcome back up. Uh, that was the very quick close-up of this today. Um, so there we go. That's what we've got on a little fortune mod with our stellar, and obviously the drip tip on top of that as well. Um, so as you see in the close-up, it's a the stiletto is a fairly simple construction to be honest with you. You've got three parts. It's a single wiring at the top, single wiring at the bottom. You've got to adjust the wear flow just by twisting that top cap. Okay, let me fully open. Works very nicely. Um, you know, simple but effective. I love that kind of stuff. Um, it is a shame, however, they didn't. You know, you've got your two holes there and there. Why would you not put a third one on 90 degrees to them two? And then I can have my single coil. Why would you, why would you not do that? Um, it, it does seem a bit strange to me that they wouldn't do that, to be honest with you. It's just cutting one more hole. Um, but, you know, it is what we've got, and that's that's what it is. Um, so, dual coil only. Let me check a little. Do 
I've got to say it's beautifully airy when it's fully open. It really is nice um, to have something that you can have as areas that you know it feels properly lung hitting. Um, you know, even at this resistance, it's a cool vape, um, which is nice to be able to do that. But I can just tailor that by locking off that air hole. Then I'm lung hitting. Lovely stuff. I've got some of where have we gone? Cosmic Fox Kryptonite in there. It's a juice I know quite well, and I've been vaping it in this today for a while now. Um, obviously that's in the way of the magic of YouTube, you know, it's been a while since I did that close up and I've been using it since then, so. I'm most certainly capable of throwing that vapour out. It really is quite a nice <coughs> flavour off of this today. Um, now, you know, the standard bit of information about it guys, as I've already said, 22mm dripper, single wiring top and bottom, fits together nicely, the 510's buttery smooth, you know. Um, gold plated centre posts um, for you know a better conductivity. Um, it's fairly simple stuff to be honest with you. I mean, in a world where we're surrounded by dual core drippers, you know, this has been out for a while now, so we're even more used to it. In fact, I own the, the exploded 26650 version of this Stellaire. Um, I have got to say though, having mentioned in the fact that the draw on this is looser, I would say that the draw on this is looser than the. 26650s to there that I've got, which is ridiculous in as the holes are like three times the size, but it is what it is. I've also got to say, I much prefer the, the uh, build on this as well because it's smaller and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and starting with looks, I think we'll move into the six point hit list uh, and then anything that flags up along the way, we'll just go over it then. Um, so, first of all, looks, I mean, this is the black finish. Now, as I said in the close up, it's nice that everything is black. You know, it's a shame they haven't got a dome top cap really looking at that. If they had a dome cap, that flavour could be even better. Um, but, you know, it. I like the black finish. I like it, especially with this brass fortune mod, which is strange. I said this in the Tobe, uh, black Tobe review. I don't think I would. Um, but I do, and the engraving kind of fits really well with the brass. But I can imagine it's also going to go equally well with any stainless steel. I mean, I chucked this on in there and it looks spot on. So, um, looks for me, it is a bit tall. No taller than Tobe, for example, so it's a 10. I mean, the engravings, the cartel, the lair, you know, that's all. It's nothing really to do with uh, Tobiko, but, you know, it's there and it looks good. Um, just ran a bit of fluff. Um, you know, on the back, we've got a serial underneath the back air hole, 18,053, so lots have been produced. Um, but there's nothing garish, it's fairly simple and I like that flat at the top so any drip tip looks pretty sweet in it. Yeah, it looks, I think it's very satisfying for my eye anyway, so it's a 10 from me. Um, now usability is what comes next on the list. To be honest with you, it's a build that I became used to over a year ago in an Argo W, it's, it's effectively exactly the same build. Um, it would have been nice to have a single coil option there, which would have made it more usable for the, the general people, you know, general public in general. You know, if you've got, how many times can I say general? If you've got, you know, someone who's new to the game, having the ability to single and dual coil gives them that versatility to start with an atomizer and then continue to use it when they advance, whereas this is more an advanced bit of kit. For those of you just getting into rebuilding, it's not necessarily one to start on, maybe. Um, but if you do choose to start here, you're not going to be doing a bad job because it isn't it isn't difficult to use. It's just a standard dual core build. There's nothing, no frills that you need to know about. Um, I would suggest maybe bringing them cores up slightly higher than I did initially in the video. Uh, I did actually recotton this and I brought them up about two and a half mil, three millimeters, and that kind of made the world of difference in terms of the the, the flavor off of it. Um, I found. The way I mounted them before, which is how I typically mount coils without really paying too much attention to where the air hole is in terms of height on the body, because you just assume it's going to line up um, with the height of the holes. I found that it was slightly too low to coil to be an optimum flavour, um, but it was still pretty good. So, I mean, just bring them coils up slightly to compare to what you're used to, but, you know, it's, it's, even without it, it was still a, a very, very good flavour and vapour. Um, it's just more my preference and the fact that that air going straight over them coils in the centre of the coil tends to provide me a little bit more heat would be my reasoning for doing it uh, more than anything. But I did notice a slight increase in flavour. 
uh, but usability is literally just a dual core build that we've all become used to you know tobe it's all very much the same stuff um, so it's going to get a 10 simple as that maintenance is what would come next um, now the black body I found it to be very hard wearing okay I have again this is in the way of YouTube of course I've used this before I did the unboxing everything's washed and used before and or used and washed sorry um, and then I've used it quite a bit since um, I've, I've had this roll along the floor dropped it a couple of times there's no harm that's come to the body I am a breaker of things I'm a dropper of stuff so you know it would show if it was going to do it easily anyway um, it's very little to maintain. You've got to maintain your coil, maintain your wick, maintain your juice level, which you do in every and any dripping atomizer. Other than that, there's no frills here. There's nothing you need to be aware of. You know, maintenance, as I've said many times before, maintenance is always a 10 starting point and points get deducted really for stuff that goes wrong with things. And this, there really is very little that can go wrong with that. So it's going to get a 10. Uh, flavor and vapor, I think we're going to do next. So, flavor and vapor. This is wide open. The building is lowish. It's not stupid low, but it's pretty low. Um, pretty sure. Um, let me just double check the situation. Yeah, no, I haven't changed the build. I have to struggle to keep up with myself sometimes. Um, so the building this is about. It's about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ohms. Um, I mean, it, it's strange because. With that big airflow, it doesn't necessarily feel like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ohms. The the vape off is actually very, very nice. But then you breathe the vapor out, and you think, Jesus. Um, so the vapor's definitely a ten. It's just ridiculous for it not to be a ten. It's got the airflow. It's got the dual core capability. If you want it to, it can handle them thicker wires. Vapor's definitely a ten, depending on when you put in it. Uh, the flavor of this, I think, is actually quite impressive. I'm not saying it's the best flavor I've ever had because it isn't. I've had better flavors than this uh, from drippers, uh, but it's definitely a solid, solid vape. It's definitely a great flavor. It's consistent as well, which I like. You know, certain that he's got. They're a bit temperamental. Um, this is very not temperamental. This is very much you get it, and it is what it is. You know, it just is the still air. It is a core dripper. Every time you chuck a coil in it, as long as you cause the same kind of resistance and the juice is the same. You're getting the same sort of kind of vape, so the flavour I'm going to give a 10 to, this juice tastes banging, and uh, that's all that I ask. So, yeah, the flavour's definitely going to be a 10. Build quality and price is what's coming next. Now, in terms of build quality, the posts are basically spot on. The drip tip well will take any 510 drip tip that I try to put inside it. You know the the contacts absolutely no problem whatsoever. The insulation's fine. The O rings at the top and the bottom seem to be the perfect amount of resistance, so it kind of just clips on. But it's not ridiculous. I can hold the A off of it, no problem. But if I pull it off, it comes straight off. Top cap the same. Top cap's loose enough that I can just nicely easily adjust that airflow. Um, it's solid. It really is. This for, for you know what is it? Thirteen euro. It's cheap. You know, eleven quid. I think you're getting, you're getting a lovely build quality for your 11 quid. The engravings on it are a bit strange because they kind of look like they've been painted in, but when you get into a closer look, it actually just looks like the metal underneath that's you know very unpolished, and it's a uh, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. Um, it's exactly as it should be, and for you know 10, 11 quid, can't moan at all. The price is a 10. The build quality you're getting for it is a 10. One versus the other, it's a 10 across the board. Um, so that is what it is. Now overall, my rule for this that is it's, it's cheap, it looks great, it vapes great, it's nice to build. Unlike many other dual core, I don't actually mind dual core in this, despite the fact I'd like the option for a single. I would probably chuck jewels in this even if I had the option for a single because I think it works well with jewels. It just tends to stick and it tends to do well with that. Um, you know, the, I'm getting a great vapor off of it, the, the great flavor, the build's lovely, you know, I'm hashing over the same thing, but, you know, when all said and done, the overalls are 10, it's, it ticks every box, it does tick every box, it's available in different finishes as well, if black's not your thing, um, 
I really can't say much more than that. I mean, I definitely rec for the price, I definitely recommend you give it a go. If you haven't given a Stellar or Stellar clone um, a go, then then by all means feel free to because you're not going to be wasting your money on it. It's a very nice solid atomizer uh, and one that I uh, would enjoy to use. I actually prefer this to the Tobe. Um, I love the Tobe, but it's that draw. The draw's got me. I love the draw. It's great. Um, yeah. Solid vape guys, I definitely recommend you give one a go uh, if you haven't already. Other than that guys, I'm pretty much done here. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you to the guys at SpainCigar.es for sending this to, uh, through to me to have a little play with. Um, yep guys, I'll see you soon.